102 degrees Fahrenheit. Three degrees. Does three degrees matter? No. No, hell, just use it. Okay. Yeah. Sold. You happy with it? I'm happy. I'm happy. Okay. You know your crew's been working hard when there's this much trash on the floor. This is a cool idea. Because you can never, even with a closed nipple, we can't get these close enough together. So, Hoss here has decided to build a manifold. That's going to work nicely. I'm obviously home for lunch, but he's, he's working today. So it's just steel? It's just it's steel. It's not cast, cast iron, iron anymore? anymore? Not anymore. I went four or five places online because I wanted to figure out what rod. Yeah. But like you can use 6013, 6011, you can use 7018. This is a piece of the uh, supply manifold, right? That's going to go that? to the straight to the filters from this oh, manifold. Filters? This is the top piece of it? The rest of it, there's six things. Oh, this is the other three that are like that. Oh, yeah. That looks cool. That is sweet. I tell you what, very, very sexy. Look at all that. And you even got the crossover pipe in. Yeah, I like that coming across. That's down low enough. It's way out of the engine. You can put a little bend in it there. A little kick. Yeah. Oh, that's See that sweet. He's sticking down and so we can way. actually take all this off with all these joints. Yeah. Oh, you did the other side. Damn, you've been busy. Okay. All right. You've done good. Really, really fucking good. And might even get dinner tonight. Huh? Yeah. Oh, well, you wash the dishes. I want to see your pencil sketches. Some of them anyway. What's that? What's this at the end over here going to be for? That's the suction from that tank going up to that little manifold. Oh, okay. So you got one from this side, right. one from that side, and then the four. Cool. All those chalk lines. And that's all six of the smaller stuff over here. That is sweet. You know what I'm going to do? You'll oh. like this. What? I'm going to put a tap off the day tank. To take fuel from? To take fuel. That'd be a great place to take it from. Two things. We back, can measure it. Back into the little manifold. Okay. Why? Because I thought you might, if you had to sit around a port for a long time, get some moisture in the day, in the day tank. tank. So you can drain it back so into the other suck tank. It right through your filters. Oh. It won't change the level in it, right? You just. I mean, it won't change the filter. It won't change the level in the tank. All you'll be doing is sucking out the bottom and pumping into the top, sucking out the bottom, but through the filters. If I oh. put that level. Okay. Show me, show me your plans and how you came up with. So that's the fuel system laying it out. And it's just kind of an isometric so you can see, you know, not 3D, but isometric yeah. enough to you kind of get nice, an idea. You do a nice job of drawing these filters. Yeah, you can make out everything. Pumps, yep. day tank, All right. more filters, yep. supply lines. Yep. Okay, and the, and, but that's not what you started with. That's not what I started with. And some other examples, you know, that is, this is, for example, a very rough sketch of the potable water. Uh, so this system. is what you're doing when you're thinking so it I'm out? I'm just thinking it out, and I just say, well, let's see, just start drawing some lines to make sure everything comes parallel. Sooner or later, we know we're going to have to run things parallel. Right? Yeah. So, um, you know, we do that. Yeah. So you're just looking at it from uh, the bird's eye view? Just a bird's well, eye. Well, no, not even that, because yeah. some of this is on the back wall, too. So you're really getting a count of lines and, and, lines and, and kind of, where it's coming from, where it's going toward. Right. So, you know, do that, and then kind of get an get idea. More. Yep, got more. So this, for example, is the bench right there. I was just thinking, what, what would that bench look like along? Oh, on the side of the, the side cabin? Of the hull and maybe another shelf up higher, just to get a quick idea, you know, all right, there's the tile right there. So just an idea, all right, will that work or not? Right, and this is, you know? this, this And then I'm starting the to lay out the engine room, starting to do pieces and parts, saying, okay, will the cooling system fit in here? You know, what else do we have to have? There's the air tank or something like that. Right. You know, just starting and to lay out. lines running toward the, yeah. That was that bench right there. Oh, you this know, one, yeah, coming down the side. Coming down the side, kind of looking at it. I like, like that idea. Or not. With, but with a bunch of drawers underneath it. Yeah, with a bunch of drawers, yeah. for sure. Yeah. Do that. Um, and then here's the uh, keel cooler, just kind of laying it out where where this would be the... Uh, oh, the reservoir tank? Reservoir tank, which would just go right into the suction of the cold side, right? You just keep a slight head on that. It won't hurt anything because it's right. not going to bubble back up. It's right, because we tested it higher than that right. elevation. And then it'll go down to the keel, <clears throat> right? And then it'll come back the out. The skeg. The skeg. And then to come back out again, that'll be the, the hot. Are these heat exchangers? And those are the heat exchangers. That I one's for the hot? Well, that's a 
that's the cool side so that'll be for the train oh, this is the cold side so yeah. this is the transmission that's and the that's transition. the hot and that's side, the hot so side that's if you want to take and that was kind of a sketch of what if we built our own heat exchanger you know a six inch pipe all right uh with, with a coil, coil inside on. of it you know and, and well there's lots of plans online for building them even with two the hard tubing yeah and oh yeah yeah with the hands just yeah, like a regular heat tube. exchanger yep. so. which is what those ones we saw on ebay yeah but those are kind stainless, of which really makes them nice i'm yep. gonna go down and look at this cracker that has stainless in it i think so this is like the first couple sketches before i kind of oops you know i did it wrong oh it's even before the other before the other so one you just so I'll, just, I'll just start sketching and kind of get some ideas and once you make a mistake you turn the page turn and do it page again and just do it again you know kind of lay it out yeah. and this is this is getting down to counts of like when i was doing those Valves. Valves. I knew I need a bunch of different sizes in nipples. Here too? Yeah, and fittings. Okay, I need six twelve inches and three four inches and three eight inches, you know, just right. kinda trying to get ideas out of there. That was kind of an early sketch on the fuel. Yeah. You know, just okay, you know, laying it out. It, it didn't look too much different than what you did. Yeah, you know, that's straight on instead of the ISO gives yeah. you a better idea of what what you're doing. That's another early, early this is where I was thinking about those kick outs, right? I knew I had to kick out Oh, to get around the bottom to get, pipes. To get around that bottom pipe there, right? Mm -hmm. And turned out that so two nights. Back, you go back into the engine room and look at the layout. I start Every building it. while you do this. Yeah, while you're building it, you kind of can say, okay, now I see a little more clearly okay. what it's what it's shaping up yeah. to be. I can then. Refine you're perfect my... for this, but that's what we do every day. <laughs> right. Start building it. And it's like, okay, that didn't go there. Oh, All there's right. the the seat chest. There's the seat chest. Just kind of sketching that out. Yeah. Again, I was trying to do layouts. There's the you know the two inverters, the two panels, the CNC. Okay, that oh, okay. fit. You know, yeah, okay. Looking at the engine room from the back. Engine room from the back. You know, yeah. fuel filters, day tank engine. You know, mm -hmm. air. Just kind of okay. There's the sea chest. Just yeah. start. Have you ever laid out an engine room before? I mean, in my head, never. You just actually you've worked in lots of them. You just right. Yeah. So, you know, just. Uh, well, I sure am impressed with the, going way back. the quality of the work that's come out of it. Yeah. All right, that's pretty much, huh? Yeah, it was a sketchbook. So. Yeah, it's your CAD program there. <laughs>